carbon at the nanoscale is actually transparent and flexible. And when it's in this form, if I combine it with a polymer and affix it to your window, when it's in its colored state, it will reflect away all heat and light. And when it's in its bleach state, it will let all the light and heat through and any combination in between. To change its state, by the way, takes two volts for a millisecond pulse. And once you've changed its state, it stays there until you change its state again. As we were working on this incredible discovery at University of Florida, we were told to go down the corridor to visit another scientist. And he was working on a pretty incredible thing. Imagine if we didn't have to rely on artificial lighting to get round at night. We'd have to see at night, right? This lets you do it. It's a nanomaterial, two nanomaterials, a detector and an imager. The total width of it is 600 times smaller than the width of a decimal place. And it takes all the infrared available at night, converts it into an electron with a space of two small films, and is enabling you to play an image which you can see through. I'm going to show to Tedsters the first time this operating. Firstly, I'm going to show you the transparency. Transparency is key. It's a film that you can look through. And then I'm going to sh turn the lights out. And you can see off a tiny film incredible clarity. As we were working on this, it dawned on us. This is taking infrared radiation, wavelength, converting it into an electron. What if we combined it with this? Suddenly, you've converted energy into an electron on a plastic surface that you can stick on your window. But because it's flexible, it can be on any surface whatsoever. The power plant of tomorrow is no power plant. 